Thanks for tuning in to another episode of An Honest Minute with your boy, Greg Old School Ice Gree Lewis. And on this episode, I want to talk about how getting a deal is the beginning. Yo, a lot of y'all got it twisted. Let me give you the cold hard truth. Whenever you're chasing a deal, especially in music, which is what I put the most emphasis on, but whether it's a record deal, whether it's your first uh, movie as an actor, whether it's, um, I don't know, closing a deal in business in general, maybe it's closing an investment deal, maybe it's any kind of deal, owning a store, whatever that may be, getting the deal is the beginning, not the end. Now, like I say, I stress the music end because a lot of times these artists, you guys get a record deal and think now it's time to kick back. Now it's time to throw my hands behind my head, put my foot up on the couch, and let everybody do their job. No, man, that's not how it goes. Once you get the deal, now the work starts. Getting the deal is the beginning, not the end. It's a lot of obligations that you're under once you secure that deal. You know what I'm saying? So be prepared for the work that's about to come because you can't sit back after you get it. I've ran into that a whole lot of times. And most of the times it ends bad because an artist likes to sit back and think they don't have to do anything because they've secured like the, the end goal or like they got the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Not the case, man. The work starts once you secure a deal. I think I remember Benny Siegel said in a song, he said, you know, we, we got to grind from the bottom just to get to the bottom. So again, getting a deal is just getting to the bottom of it all. You haven't made it to the top yet. So you keep that in mind and you go ahead and handle that deal like it's the beginning and you'll have the best results you ever had. So y'all, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Anonymous Minute with your boy, Greg Old School Ice Green Lewis. I'm out. <laughs>